Guys, my kids speak to me in English. That may mean nothing to you unless you understand our background. So our kids were born and raised in the States for most of their life, but I have only ever spoken to them in French. We've done everything in French at the house. So when we moved to France to live here more permanently, I decided to switch everything around and only speak to them in English. I've written a book on the topic, but I've never really experienced what it is to have to switch languages with your kids and especially to see if it would work. I'm pretty proud to say that after about three months, it worked. At first, it was so odd for all of us. I was speaking to them in English. They were responding to me in French. It was just so awkward. Even I would like lose the habit and go back to speak to them in French because that's what was more natural and normal for all of us. So these are the three things I did to switch language so that they could speak to me in English. The first thing is that I led by example. So I switched everything to English, meaning the movies we watch, the podcasts or music that we listen to, everything is in English, including what I listen to. When they're around, if I'm watching a movie or whatever it is, I'm trying to make sure that they see that I'm doing that in English. The second thing is that I was very consistent, meaning that I would constantly speak to them only in English, even if I had to sometimes pinch myself because it wasn't you know, our habit, but I was consistent every single day in switching to English. And the third thing that I did was I was very persistent, meaning that I kept telling them, hey, let's speak in English. And I gave them the, the benefits of why we should switch and speak to English, which are basically that I don't want them to simply know how to speak English at a middle school level, so to speak, since they're in middle school, but I really want them to maintain the language and improve the language. So when they go back to the States to visit, to live, who knows, maybe to study, then they will have a, just a broad, they'll have a broader vocabulary. So we're also doing things in English at the house, like I have them reading and writing in English, doing essays that they don't like. So we're doing a lot more than just speaking, but the fact that I was able to switch and go from us always speaking in French together and then moving and then now always speaking in English is huge. So those are the three keys. If you want to learn more, you might want to get a copy of this book that I wrote and make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment if you'd like me to be more detailed on the steps that I took to make sure my kids would be completely bilingual and multicultural.